Webheads, do you experience FOMO? I mean, yeah, the struggle is real, right? I do. Even the day of, you know, new comic book day, I go to my shop and I have a pull list, but I still feel like I'm going to miss out on my favorite comic books or there's something that I missed. So this series is going to hopefully help you remedy that a little bit. My comic book shop sends me my FOC three to five weeks in advance of when certain comic books come out. And I'm going to bring that list to you guys. This is going to be some of the most important titles that are getting ready to come out, maybe spec wise for you, maybe reprints, things like that. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this series. It will be released every single Saturday. And again, hopefully this helps you make decisions on what comic books to buy. All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to be kicking it off with DC. This is titled Batman Killing Time, Issue 1. Three villains, one dark night, in a deadly heist gone wrong. Catwoman, the Riddler, and the Penguin join forces to pull off the greatest robbery in the history of Gotham City. So, I don't know, guys. Are you into picking up Batman Killing Time? This is one of six. Um, there's been so many Batman books out there. We've said it before. DC does definitely need to come up with something else besides Batman. But here is your main cover, which is pretty cool. As you get to see Catwoman hang all over Riddler. What's going on with that? Is Batman jealous? And then here is your variant covers. So if you're into collecting the variants, you got Riddler and Catwoman here and the bat signal in the background. Really cool. And then you have the Batman uh, variant cover as well. So with Batman on his bat cycle. So that's pretty cool. All right, next we move on to Trial of the Amazons issue one. Uh, this is written by a slew of people, so I'm not even going to go into it. Now we had the cancellation of Yara Flora, Wonder Girl, and now we have this huge Wonder Woman event. Uh, are you guys into this event? Will you be picking it up? The cover art looks absolutely gorgeous. This is a $5 price tag on this book. Uh, I might check it out just to see what it has to offer. I want to like Wonder Woman, but her stories have just not been interesting. Here we get to see Trial of the Amazons uh, issue one. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Next, we have War of the Earth 3, issue 1. So what is this? Earth 3 has to do with the crime syndicate. And here's what it says. The Teen Titans, the Flash, and the Suicide Squad all collide on Earth 3, home of the evil crime syndicate on the hunt for former Task Force-esque mastermind Amanda Waller. As Waller tries to take over the alternate Earth and dethrone evil versions of Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and the other heroes that rule it. Her former partner Rick Flagg arrives on E3 bent on making Walter pay for her crimes, while the Titans and Flash hunt for a missing Academy student they believe was kidnapped by Waller to form the Mysterious Justice Squad. So this book only has two issues. So you guys in for this two issue little story arc uh, that has to deal with Earth 3? Let me know in the comments below, guys. I don't know. I think I'm probably going to pass on this. Not worth two issues. Interesting cover here with Superman, or actually it's Ultraman, I guess. Is that his name? I forgot. All right, next we move on to Suicide Squad, issue 13, The War for Earth 3 tie-in. All right, so it's a two-issue story arc, and it still has a tie-in. So you have the Suicide Squad that is involved as well. So, yeah, that book is a $4 book. And then here is your Peacemaker uh, variant cover. All right, so if you're into second printings, we have Catwoman issue 39, the second printing. That's a gorgeous looking cover. Kind of looks like Michelle Pfeiffer, maybe paying a little bit of tribute to that character. I love it. Um, looks good. And then we have Batman issue 121, old enemies and new lies, allies. So this is the conclusion to the Abyss story arc. So what are you guys thinking about Joshua Williamson's new run on Batman or it's the same story numbering, but you know, new creative team here. Are you guys digging it? I totally am. I love the Abyss. I love how mysterious the villain is. Uh, here we wind up getting uh, what's his face there? Is it Peacemaker? I don't even know what it is. Not Peacemaker. Uh, Ghostmaker? <laughs> Who 
who's that dude? I forgot. I don't even care about him. He's on the cover too. And then here is your your uh, variant cover. All right. Next we have moving forward the Dark Knights of Steel. This is issue five. Great tom taylor series how can you go wrong with this betrayals and assassinations have brought the world to the brink of war as the kingdom of storms and Thamascara prepare for invasion the l family is reunited at last to mourn their father but what secrets does bruce wayne have that could prove vital to the future of the land how many of you guys thought the last issue was really good i did i mean it wasn't the best but it was still good to learn about the history of the characters in the book and then we got the origin story of the new Lex Luthor Joker Lantern. So I thought that was pretty cool. Nice looking cover here. Great facial expressions. This cover is actually even better. I love this one. So realistic. You got Black Canary and, and uh, Green Arrow in there. So yeah, it's super cool. Uh, next, this is a book I decided to pass on from the start. This is Monkey Prince issue two. I will not be reading this book, but if you guys are reading it, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think of it. It is a limited series. This book is $4. And then you got your variant cover with, of course, Batman on it. All right, then we got some of the indie gems. We got this new book called Rogue Song. So, I don't know what to expect out of this book. Looks kind of cool, cool covers. Uh, always into you know image comics and trying out the first issues just to see if these stories will capture me. So yeah, if you want to put this one on your pull list, go ahead. That's Rogue Sun issue one. Then we have the 10. Next on the list is a new AWA Upshot book. This is called Hit Me issue one of five now when it comes to the awa upshot books they have been really well done some of these stories uh, i've been quite impressed with and this could be a book that i'm looking forward as well there's some nice looking covers on this one and i don't know it looks like it's about some mafia thing that's going on there next i definitely don't know what to expect out of this one this is called loaded bible blood of my blood so I guess this is done by Tim Seeley. Uh, this is a quite interesting book. Uh, I don't know. It says decades after the events of the original cult series, Jesus vampire hunting clone is a bigger outlaw than ever. And now he has to face a threat like no other. The church has cut a deal with the vampire nations to unite under their clone savior, Dracula, a six part monthly miniseries starting on Ash Wednesday. So this is a vampire book. Pretty cool looking covers here, All right? And I love this cover. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna buy that just for that cover alone. So that looks pretty neat. Next, we have Killer Affairs of the State Issue 1. Dynamite's Cross Company zombie crossover returns with even more undead mayhem. Evil Sonya and the Draculan sisters Vampirella and Pantha may have turned back the plague on Earth, but what happens when zombies from Mars start to invade? Hear that cry in the jungle? That's right. Tarzan has joined the insanity and the ape man has hands full with zombie dinosaurs in a lost valley. How does this incursion connect to Barsoom? Dude, I have no idea what's going on in the Dynamite universe, but <laughs> what a pretty cool cover right there. Sounds like an interesting um, premise for title. Uh, so we got that coming out and then we have... Always the nice looking covers when it comes to Vampirella. This is quite interesting as she's in space and there's blood on her and I don't know, her skin is melting. Interesting. And then you got this version of Vampirella as well. Uh, quite disturbing actually. <laughs> All right. And then we have Beyond the Beyond issue one. This is done by Scout Comics. Um, in the first issue we met we meet Nova Vega, the teenage idolist who resides on a mining colony run by oppressive Omni Corporation. Nova is dischanted by her prospects of entering the Omni Mining Academy for she'd much rather be out exploring the stars like her parents. Okay, so she's an exploration, exploration person. So yeah, we got that one. I don't know if I'll be picking up that one. Nice looking cover, we'll see. Now we move on to Marvel. So we have Punisher issue one. So is this the new uh, logo for Punisher? So this is, will the Punisher's war end? 
So I don't know, what do you guys think about this new Punisher series? What do you think about the new logo, the new direction of the character? Love this cover, right? And then we have um, this one right here as well. So that's really nice. And then you got the new logo. And then you got the new logo with the Punisher bowing down. Was he like taking a new vowel? Like I'm gonna change my logo. Yeah, he looks completely different. Now he has a sword. What is he, samurai? <laughs> so we'll see. All right. So next we have Spider Gwen. We got the Gwen vs. Issue 1. So we've heard about this for quite a while. Uh, so now let your comic book shops know that this is available to put on your pull list. Are you guys going to be picking this up? Are you, uh, are you spider versed out with all these different versions of your favorite spider characters? Um, here we have a Greg Land cover, all right? So that's pretty cool with Gwen Stacy on there. And next we have Captain Carter issue one, this woman out of time. So obviously this is kind of straight out of the uh, Disney Plus series from What If. This is a book that I'll probably check out. I'll put this on my uh, pull list as well. And here we have a variant cover. I like the first one better. And then you got Women of Marvel issue one celebrate the phenomenal women of marvel with tales spun from the greatest minds in comics and then you got some of your favorites in there right so that's pretty cool and then you got this alternate cover i love that cover right you got x23 you got honey badger in there or scout whatever her name is and jonathan the wolverine <laughs> that's cool this is another nice looking cover so again you have these covers to choose from if you want to put them on your pull list then we got a Black Panther reprint, and then we have a Timeless reprint, and then you also have your She-Hulk issue one reprint, and you have Silk issue one reprint, which I'm surprised that went in a reprint. Silver Surfer Rebirth reprint, and we have Moon Knight issue seven reprint, and then we have Daredevil Without Fear reprint with Craven Hunter on there, which looks really cool. And then we have marauders as well which is the annual which went into a reprint okay so then we have next star wars han solo and chewbacca issue one so that's a new star wars series which i have not been enjoying the star wars line it's too convoluted with events now and uh but if you like han solo and chewbacca maybe this is just a standalone story with these two uh doing adventures together and then next we have Demon Days, Blood Feud Issue 1. So we get the final chapter of Demon Days Saga, uh, which is done by Peach Momoko. So if you want to finish that off, go ahead and check that out. And there's a couple of your variant covers. This is Scotty Young one. And then we have Kate. Hawkeye Kate Bishop issue five. So it looks like this is the final issue of this series as well. Pretty nice looking cover as you have Kate busting through the building with a moped. This story has been a little bit lackluster for me. I like the artwork. I like some of the jokes and some of the relationship building between her and her sister, but the main plot has been short. Uh, Hawkeye Kate Bishop variant here uh, is pretty cool. And then we got Strange Academy issue 17. It says, careful what you wish for. An ancient evil gas lamp has targeted Strange Academy, but what is this creature really after? Calvin's caught up in the mess and he could lose everything. Using magic always has a cost and Strange Academy has been racking up a gnarly bill. But when will that bill finally come due? So this book has been phenomenal. I have nothing but good things to say about it. Great story art going on right now about this new character by the name of Gaslamp. And then we have this Carnage Forever um, Peach Momoko variant cover. So there you guys have it. There are the newest comic books getting ready to come out. So if you don't want to miss out on those books or some of those awesome looking covers, guys, get in contact with your comic book shop today. And fans, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. And of course, fans, speaking of content, I'll leave you more content right here to click on. And until next time, guys, keep buying, keep collecting, and most importantly, keep reading those comics. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you real soon. Bye.